Hey you guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chantelevision. And as you can see in the title, today's video is going to be a review on the new Super Stay Full Coverage 24-Hour Maybelline Foundation. Yes, buddy. And my shade is 312 Golden. So we're going to be trying that out. I already did something, whatever, with my eyes or whatever. Um, just a really simple look. But really, what we're going to do is we're going to test out this bad boy right here. I'm actually really excited to use it because I swatched them on my face and you wouldn't even be able to tell that he's on my face already. I'm dumb excited. You guys already know my favorite foundation. I never really, when once I stick to something, I usually stick to something. Like once I like something, I usually stick to it. So the foundation I use every day is my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 300. I would say there's a difference in color you can tell. Um, I feel like my Fenty is a little more yellowy undertone and the Maybelline is more neutral. Also a little warmer. Let's just do a quick comparison back in my hand of shade, like shade wise. So, okay. So let's take a closer look. Here is my Fenty in the shade 300, and this is the Maybelline in the shade 312, which to me, they are a couple shades off, but pretty close, and I can make this one work, so. And plus, uh, at first I was gonna buy two of the Maybelline foundations, just to make sure I get my perfect, perfect shade, but I felt like in the store when I swatched it on. Maybe it's because the way I'm looking right now is not so yellow. And when I bought my Fenty, I was probably looking a little yellow that day, I don't know. But when I swatched it on in the store, it just blended right into my skin. We're gonna go ahead and give this a try. But before we get into priming, let's go over what it claims to do and everything like that. Right off the bat, it says 24 hours wear, which is really important to me because when I'm going out, I need to make sure I'm looking good than a mother all day, you feel me? So again, it's 24 hours, it claims to be a full full coverage, seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, oil free, does not clog pores, dermatologist tested. Off the bat, off the rip, I feel like a drugstore foundation with the pump, it's definitely hard to come by. I'm lying, actually. I also have another foundation with the pump. I rarely use this foundation, but this is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I rarely use this one, and this one claims to be 24 hours as well. Um, but it's really hard to come by a good foundation, a drugstore that's price happy with the pump. Like Maybelline, y'all are starting to, you fool me, appeal to the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so actually let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do same everything on my face because I want to see whether this foundation could just jump right in into my normal everyday routine that I use. For primer, I'm going to be doing my mix up like I always do, which is going to be my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer Base. There you go. And then my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer Mad Matte. I'm gonna be taking matte matte in the center of my face because that's where I tend to get oily. Yo, I promise, it's like every video I do, there's noise. Yesterday I was recording, somebody's house alarm was going off. Tonight I'm recording, the choppers are outside. It's ridiculous. All right. Now that we have that base on, let's go on around the perimeter with the HD, the next HD primer. Alrighty, now that we're all juiced up and primed up, let's get into the fun part. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually apply with the brush. Let's see how this works with the brush. Uh, I was gonna use a sponge, but I haven't really been filling sponges lately. Nothing wrong with them, I just haven't really been filling them. So I wanna see how how far one pump can stretch. So I'm just gonna start with one pump, 
in the back of my hand, which is a pretty decent size. It's a pretty decent size pump. So I'm gonna see how far this pump can stretch because I wanna see whether this foundation can go a long way. Like I can use this for a while. And it doesn't like run out fast. Off the start of it, I can definitely agree to it being to it being breathable, lightweight, which I like because I don't want to feel like I'm, you know, wearing so much makeup. And it's maybe because I'm using a brush, but that one pump is already gone. So we'll try the other side of my face with the sponge. I like to set my face with a sponge to see how that goes. The coverage though is like immaculate. The coverage though is literally phenomenal. And mind you, this is just one coat. That's the thing. And I can pretty sure you guys can tell on camera that I have a lot of redness, so usually I would correct. With today's video, I didn't decide to correct because I want to see how well the coverage is with this foundation. Let me get up closer. You guys can't even tell, like, you can't even see my redness. At all, which is phenomenal to me because I'm trying to cover up all these blemishes and what I'm noticing with the brush is that it's very skin like. So it doesn't, it's, it looks skin like. Yeah, that explains itself. Like, it doesn't, it looks like I'm wearing foundation, of course, because you guys can see, like, how my face is having foundation on it. But if you wouldn't know, like, if I just had foundation on and, like, a regular natural look, you would think this is just my skin. It dries down pretty nice and matte. I feel like I got a good match, like color wise, but it is a nice finish. It doesn't feel like drying matte either because some foundations that I came across, I feel drying, like my skin is like getting all the oil sucked out of it because of the foundation. But with this, I don't feel none of that. So really quick, I'm gonna go dip my beauty sponges and I'm gonna get back so I can try buffing the, make the foundation with a sponge. All right, you guys, back with a damp beauty sponge and I'm just gonna take another pump again. One full pump on the back of my hand and see how far this stretches while this side oxidizes, you know, does what it has to do. We're gonna let that, yeah. So I'm just gonna take my finger and just do a couple dots. Overall, based off how far the foundation is stretching across my face. I think I'm gonna say I'll be cool with like two and a half pumps of this. Because one pump, one pump, and then half for my forehead. But let's go ahead and take this and blend it in. You guys don't mind my ears. I know they're dumb red, it's because I'm hot right now. And every time I get hot, my ears get super red. So what I can say with a sponge, it, the finish of it looks the same. I still look, I still look like it's just skin on both sides of my face. Um, but the redness on my face, that covered right up. My marks, like my dark spots and things like that disappeared. What I can say though, hmm, I can't even, okay. I can't find anything bad yet. So we're doing pretty good. It doesn't dry down fast because this spot that's on my forehead is still a little moist, you know, not dry yet. 
yeah I would say that it would take a, a cool two two and a half pumps to fill my big head so let's go ahead and do my little half a pump Ugh, okay. I'm just gonna All right, overall I'm feeling right now, I'm pretty, 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 I'm feeling pretty confident. And what I like about it so far is that it's kind of blending seamlessly with my normal steps. Like I always prep my skin with my Mario Vida Skew Spray. I always prep my skin with that and then I put my primer on, things like that. So it is going with the flow with my normal, you know, everyday process. <sighs> For concealer, because we're just gonna do everything regular. Concealer, highlight, everything is gonna be regular. Um, for concealer, I don't know if or whether I wanna go with the NYX HD, because I did use my NYX HD primer. Maybe I should use my NYX HD concealer, or should I use my Fenty Match Sticks? You know what we're gonna do? Let's compare colors really quick, because I think I'm gonna do half different. I'm gonna do one concealer or another concealer. I'm gonna end up going with my NYX HD primer. What is this, the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer. The shade, I'm only gonna go with this one because my Fenty is a little brighter than my NYX HD. And the color for NYX HD that I'm gonna use is CW4 Beige. I'm just gonna take a couple swipes. Okay. Okay, Maybelline, you're not transferring or anything. I like that because usually when I put a concealer on top of the foundation, the foundation starts to slip and slide under the bottom, but everything's still in the same spot, which I can respect because if you have foundation that can hold the base down, that's what I'm looking for. If your foundation that can hold the base down, I'll rock with it, I'll rock with it. And again, it's pairing well with my normal routine, which I can respect. So let me keep blending. Okay. I'm feeling it. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm really sore. I just went to the gym. What was it? Yesterday, I'm super sore. But to set, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me powder, my loose face powder that I always use in light, medium, 20. Setting under eyes, and I'm gonna set my entire face up. I'm gonna set my entire face with this stuff, because I wanna see how well, I'm not gonna say this again. Now that we set, I know for a fact, not a doubt in my mind, that I'm gonna contour with my matchsticks. And this little beauty is mocha. I'm not gonna contour too heavy or anything like that, because I don't wanna lose sight of the. I'm actually not gonna go too heavy with the contour today. I just wanna see how well the foundation does. So far, so good, actually. So far, so good. I, you know what? I'm gonna blend with my Beauty Blender. I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna go with the cleaner side of my Beauty Blender, the side that I didn't use for my um, highlight, and my, my concealer, whatever. I'm gonna use the cleaner side of this blender.
And then for my nose, I'm actually gonna go with my super brush, pinch my super brush like I usually do and just go on my nose. contoured as best as I'm gonna be so let me go ahead and set my contour really quick I'm gonna highlight and then pop up some lashes when we done so the same bronzing method with my same little um, elf bronzing kit that I always use I'm gonna mix these two today For highlighter, hold on. Let's actually toast to how well this Maybelline foundation is doing. Cause it looks beautiful. Out of my B Bella Cosmetics palette, I believe this is B35F. I'm going to be taking a mixture of these two colors here, which is this nice shiny color and this golden color. I'm going to mix them two together. That's going to be my highlight. And I know y'all are like, did you really not going to just use a highlight color? I'm going to do what I want. I have all this highlighter here. And for this look, out of all the highlighter I have in my makeup collection, I feel like using some eyeshadows. And what? <laughs> I'm gonna go really soft with the, with the highlight today too. Not too dramatic. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> For lips, I'm just gonna use my favorite NYX Butter Gloss, and this is the shade Magdalene Magdalene. This is what she looks like. There we go. That's what she looks like. We're gonna put her on my lips real quick. All right, Magdalene is on. Actually, I don't feel like wearing lashes, so just gonna coat my lashes with some, um, some mascara and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Makeup Plush. Just for a little light coat. You guys, I was really tempted today to buy that, um, I believe it is also Maybelline too, I think. Um, Maybelline Temptations something mascara. That little pink bottle or whatever. I was really tempted to grab that today. When I went to, where did I get this foundation? CVS. The, I got the the color stay foundation from CVS, yeah I did. I was really tempted to grab that um, Temptation mascara as well. I always do this mascara or the Volume Express mascara. Yeah, I'm gonna pop some, the same highlighter combo that I use for my cheeks. I'm going to pop it in my inner corner. Yep. And let's set. So I'm gonna take a mixture today of my Maybelline. I have a ton of Maybelline stuff I didn't realize I had this much Maybelline stuff into this video. I'm gonna take my Maybelline, what is this, Master of Fix by Face Studio Wear Roosting Setting Spray, and I'm gonna take my Mario Badescu spray from earlier. Yeah, 
I like how it came out. I like this little cute. <laughs> I like it. I like this little looky or whatever. What do you guys think? I like it. Overall, this foundation, it's definitely something that I'm going to keep using. I didn't just buy this for the review. I actually like this foundation. I do. My skin, let's, let me look my mirror real quick. My skin looks beautiful. It looks healthy, which I like. So, I don't know, I just, I feel flawless. <laughs> I really do like it. And what was most important to me is the coverage. Um, long, how, how long lasting it is, is really important to me too. But I have no, I have no time right now to be able to test the longevity of how long the foundation can last. I do love the finish. It's not, again, it's not like a drying mat, which I definitely love because it makes my skin look hydrated and just beautiful. Maybe it's what I paired with it because like I said, it's also really important to me that this blends well with the, with the stuff I already use. So overall, this foundation, there we go. It's two thumbs up, um, 4.9 stars. The only thing that I would say is if they had a shade closer to me, but this, I can't even complain about that because I literally walked into CVS, broke it open, pumped it and wiped it on my face and it was, it was beautiful. So I really have nothing to say at this point. This is my initial review. I have nothing to say. It's, I love it. I do. I can say that. I can say I love this foundation because I do. So, hoorah for drugstore, hoorah for Maybelline because you guys did this. I really like this. And if you guys like it, make sure to like this video, comment, score, of course, can't even talk, I'm so sleepy. If you guys like this video, if you watch it all the way to the end, I definitely appreciate you guys checking out this review. If you like this review, definitely don't forget to comment down below. If you tried it, what do you like, you know? Um, what you're interested in seeing on my channel, things like that. Don't forget to like the video. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep saying it. Like it, 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 like it. <laughs> um, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. And again, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Shed Television. I'll catch y'all in the next one.